Om Shanti and good evening. When we exchange a greeting, you know, sometimes it just becomes a habit. Good morning, good evening. And sometimes the other person just responds as morning, evening. Even the word good is not attached to the greeting. Why? Because we are not greeting. We are only responding to the situation out of an automatic created sanskar, a habit which we have been using for many, many years. And sometimes our energy, our vibration, our blessing which we want to radiate to the other person is missing because we're just doing it out of habit. So good evening. And when you create this beautiful thought, then before radiating that beautiful vibration to me, the first one who's going to experience it is, is the one who creates it. So let's be generous in radiating beautiful vibrations to others. Because whether they receive it or no is their choice. But we receive it is 100% certain because we are creating it. So at every moment during the day, look for chances. Look for chances to radiate beautiful energy to others because that's the only way to experience it ourselves. At the Brahma Kumaris, we greet each other saying Om Shanti, which means I am a peaceful being. So every time we greet, it's a gentle reminder to oneself, a gentle reminder to the opposite person, and above all, radiating a very high frequency vibration into the environment. In a world where many of us are radiating a vibration, I am stressed, I am stressed, I am stressed. You know, when we say, I am stressed, it's not just about ourselves. We're also radiating that energy into the air. And what will happen? Somebody else will catch that frequency and start saying, I am also stressed without even knowing what it feels like, but they just pick the vibration from the air. And that's why we say Om Shanti, so that another soul in some part of the world is going to pick the vibration from the air, catch the frequency and say, I also am at peace. Is each one of us at peace? Let's say it together. Let's not say Om Shanti. Let's say, I am a peaceful being. Now again, but now, feel it. Feel it. What does it mean I am a peaceful being? Because we all use the word peace. We all want peace. We all seem to be looking for peace. We all arrange peace conferences all over the world. We're talking about world peace. Children in school draw beautiful paintings, a peaceful world. You know? But what does it mean? What does that peace mean? So let's pause. Feel what does it mean, peace? And then say it. I am a peaceful being. Now, now say, I am a stressed being. Say it, say it. I am. Don't say it so peacefully because that's not how we say it. <laughs> That's not how we say it at all. Every day. I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. Every word, frequency. 
frequency. So when I create a lower frequency vibration, there is a little turbulence that happens here. And then there is a ripple effect that one low vibration is followed by another one and another one and another one and very soon is a series of low frequency thoughts and they come very rapid one after the other no punctuation mark no comma no full stop what up what what up if there's any one punctuation mark it's always a question mark too much thinking is normally a question mark why are they like this why is she walking like this in the middle of the program <laughs> No, 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 sorry. It's not about you. <laughs> if I want, I can go on thinking like that. So the only punctuation mark which comes in too much thinking is question mark. Apart from that, no gaps, no full stop, no comma. And when we create a high vibration thought, I am a peaceful being, it will create a stillness here. The mind won't know what second thought to create after that. And that will give it a pause between my one thought and the second thought. And it's this little pause between two consecutive thoughts which allows my mind to rest. One thought, it's like when we are talking. One line, a two second pause, second line. Ever heard people talking without pauses? Ever met people who talk without a pause? Who's met people who talk without a pause? Anyone here sitting who talks without a pause? Anyone here feels I talk without a pause? No two second gap. I used to talk without a pause. I used to really talk without a pause. And the other opposite person had to say, stop, please repeat what you've said because I haven't understood it. Because it was just not only without a pause, it was also very fast, very loud, very fast, without gaps, and with only one intention, to tell the other person, you keep quiet and just listen to what I'm saying. That's it. So just say it so fast and don't give them any space, don't give yourself any space. And just the other day, there was a sister who was talking to me for an interview and she said, how come you're talking so sweetly, softly and slowly? And I said, huh, it's slower than before, right? She said, no, it's very slow. I said, first it was very fast. Now it is very slow. But there was no effort made to do that. It only happened because something here which was very fast got a little slow. And when that got a little slow, this automatically became slow with a little pause in between. Non-stop thinking without pauses causes the mind to get tired, fatigue, pressure, headache, jam here, can't see solutions clearly because there's just so much here. And so we are here together today to put those little pauses into our thoughts. And when we put that pause, we will be happy living with our own self. It's not very comfortable to live with somebody who talks nonstop. You know, what do we tell them? Keep quiet at least for five minutes. Give me a break. You know, do we tell them just keep quiet for five minutes? They manage for 50 seconds and they will start again. But what if we had to live 24 by 7 with somebody inside talking non-stop? And now this someone talks at night also. Any of you have a mind which talks at night? You have a mind which talks at night? And sometimes it's more scary in the night than it is in the day. And we can wake up in the night with 
shocked emotions because it talks turbulent in the night why because the conscious layer stops talking and the very deep layers start talking at that time dreams turbulent dreams non stop thinking we need to take a break we need to give it that pause because it's not just about us it's also about us radiating that vibration into the environment which is being picked up by people around us and now very soon most of us are thinking at that speed and not just us at this age but very little children are thinking too much today hyperactive children cannot concentrate cannot sit in one place they keep jumping up and down tell them betho again they will get up tell them sit down for 2 minutes again they will get up no silence here body language gets very hyper but why are they doing that because they are picking up the vibrations from the we are radiating it they are absorbing it so for our own self for our children for our family and for our world we need to start putting pauses slow down our thinking situations not in my control people's behavior not in my control i expect them to be a certain way and they behave in a way which is come completely contradictory to what i wanted does that happen does that happen sometimes yes and then the mind starts talking the mind starts talking what are the normal typical scenes when the mind starts talking a little faster than normal what happens what are the scenes when the mind starts talking a little faster inside hmm anybody expectations which means when people do not behave the way i expected them to be what does my mind start saying that time what does it say to me anybody what does it say to me it gets angry <laughs> what does it say to me i am not happy acha i will be happy when i will be happy when they they behave ha huh? the way the way i want them to be so simple it's so simple to be happy i will be happy when they behave the way i want them to be and when they don't behave the way i want them to be what will i do i will be unhappy is the equation fine is the equation comfortable fine how many people during the day behave exactly the way you want them to be so see what we are doing to ourselves let's see what i'm doing to myself i just taught this mind when people are your way be happy when people are not your way you make noise i taught my mind make noise be unhappy because it's normal to be unhappy because they were not my way and when did i teach my mind that my parents taught me to teach my mind that and you know how they taught my me to be that way by being that way themselves so when we were their way they were very happy when we got the marks which they liked they were happy and when we didn't perform the way they wanted when they didn't we didn't behave see that little child is looking at his mummy and papa and saying see listen listen because our parents lived that way happy when we were their way 
not happy when we were not their way. We automatically absorbed that way of living from them. And today we are happy when people are our way. Tomorrow our children will absorb that from us. And generation to generation we will pass on the wrong programming. Our inheritance given to our children. And what happened? Till two generations before, people were still our way. So that generation could be happier. Then that generation passed it on to us. Be happy when people are your way. Our generation had a little lesser people being our way. So we were a little lesser happier. Next generation, pass on the same programming. In terms, in times of uncertainty. Don't know what's going to happen after every one hour. And we've taught them, be happy when the world is your way. So their chances of being happy during the day, their chances of being happy during the day started getting lesser. Now, only two options. Either the world should be my way. Second option, I can change my programming. I can change my programming. Is it possible for the world to be my way? No. Is it possible for the person sitting next to me to be my way? Yes or no? Am I ready to be their way? Uh, because even that way life will become very beautiful. Instead of expecting them to be my way, I'll be their way. Simple. Only one person needs to change. Two people don't need to change. I had a sister who came to the center and she's telling me, Oh, Sister Shivani, you know my husband watches your program every day. I said, Good. You also start watching. She said, I don't need to. <laughs> she was so cool. She said, I don't need to. I said, Why? She said, because he's watching, he's changed, things are perfect for me, I don't need to. She said, it was very clear, very sorted. So we need only one. We need only one out of two to create a shift for the relationship to become very smooth. So instead of them being my way, I can be their way. Ready to be their way? Are we ready to be their way? No. Why aren't we ready to be their way? Harmony in the house, if we are their way. Why can't we be their way? Why can't we be their way? Why should children be the way parents want them to be? Simple. Parents can be the way children want them to be. Simple. Why can't we be their way? Because our way is the better way. Our way is the better way. Says who? Says who? I'm going to ask your wife now in the room behind afterwards. Which way is the better way? And which is perfectly fine. Because my way, my perspective, my way of thinking, my nature is going to be the one which is comfortable for me. Even a simple thing like this glass of water. I drink warm water. Even when it's extremely hot, I drink warm water. Another person sitting next to me drinks chilled water. Third person sitting next to me drinks half a glass of ice. Who's right? Who is right? And I look at the person with ice in and say, what are you doing? And that person looks at me and says, look at you, what are you doing? You're drinking warm water, look at, it's AC on and you're drinking warm water. We radiate vibrations of you're very weird and the person says, you're weird. And then we say, you need to change. The other person said, you need to change. And then I say, but I will be happy when you will change. And the other person says, I will also be happy when you will change. And then both don't change, so both are not happy. Equation is very simple. Now, they are not going to change. Why aren't they going to change? Why aren't they going to change? Because they don't find the need to change. They are very comfortable the way they 
are. I have an option to change my programming, which says, I will be happy when people are my way. And when people are not my way, fill in the blank. When people are not my way, I will be their way. No, no, I will not be their way. When people are not my way, then? Who said that? No, someone here said, I will be more happy when people are not my way. <laughs> you said that. Ah. Everything is possible. It's just a programming. It's just a programming. Program it, mind will follow the coding for the rest of your life.